consider an instruction pipeline with five stages without any branch prediction fetch instruction decode instruction fetch operand execute instruction and write operand the stage delays for these five stages are 5 7 10 8 and 6 nanoseconds respectively there are intermediate storage buffers after each stage and the delay of each buffer is 1 nanosecond a program consisting of 12 instructions i1 i2 i3 to i12 is executed in this pipeline processor instruction i4 is the only branch instruction and its target is i9 if the branch is taken during the execution of this program what will be the time in nanoseconds needed to complete the program so now we have given the time required in each stage and we know that in a pipeline implementation the clock cycle time will be the maximum of the time required by each different stage so we will take the maximum of 5 7 10 8 and 6 which is 10 and then add the time required by the interstage buffer at the end of each stage which is 1 nanosecond so the total clock cycle time is 11 nanosecond now let us take a look at the number of clock cycles required by each instruction so we know that there are five stages so first instruction i1 will require five clock cycles because that is the first one in the pipeline the rest i2 i3 and i4 now they will be completed in every subsequent clock cycle so one clock cycle for each so this will require three clock cycles now let us see what will happen when instruction i4 is in the pipeline when instruction i4 is in the pipeline so we have the fetch instruction stage the decode instruction the fetch operand and the execute instruction stage this is the stage where the branch target address would be computed <coughs> but in the meantime these three instructions would obviously already come in the pipeline after the branch target address has been computed in this clock cycle it will be determined that the branch target address is the address of the instruction i9 so i9 will now come and be fetched over here so what is the branch penalty these three clock cycles they have gone waste and the branch target instruction is brought after three clock cycles so the branch penalty is 3 and then once i9 uh, instruction is uh, started fetched in the pipeline and brought similarly the subsequent instructions including the i9 instructions will take one clock cycle each so this will require four clock cycles so what is the total clock cycles 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 so total of 15 clock cycles will be required and the clock cycle time is 11 nanoseconds so 15 into 11 this will give us 165 nanoseconds